hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Michelle Van Haug. Uh, I'm a clarinet player with the Air Force Band of the West out in San Antonio, Texas. And I'm the founder of a Daraja uh, Music Initiative. It was founded in 2010. Uh, it started as Clarinets for Conservation, the mission being equal parts using uh, music education as a tool um, to teach uh, conservation, leadership, uh, uh, self-sustainability, and all of the other plethora of uh, uh, benefits that come from music education that we're all very familiar with. Uh, and then a, a couple of years after we got started, uh, Katie joined uh, in 2013, and we very quickly expanded to include a string program, and then we started including saxophones and flutes and uh, recorder program. Uh, so then of course we needed to change our name to be all inclusive of instrumentation. And uh, we uh, became Daraja Music Initiative, Daraja meaning bridge in Swahili. In 2015 and 2016, um, I stepped down in my role um, and Katie stepped up as uh, the executive director of the organization. And she has made it what it is today, which is an incredibly uh, successful opportunity for both music uh, teachers and performers all over the world. And of course, most importantly for the youth in uh, Moshi, Tanzania. So um, uh, I'll move over to Katie. Sure. Hi, everyone. It's so nice to meet you. I'm Katie Palmer and executive director of Daraja Music Initiative. It has been such a pleasure to, to work with our core of volunteers and board members uh, to really accomplish the mission that Michelle set forth um, for us in 2010, taking a music education and conservation education and bridging those together uh, has been an interesting goal, to say the least. Um, but each year as we head to Tanzania, we work in the Kilimanjaro region of Tanzania. And we go into country, you know, we do what we can with what we have. So, it, you know, it is with a great deal of heartfelt thank yous that uh, we get on this call to thank you for your donation uh, to DMI. It, it's going to be um, incredibly impactful. We do what we can with what we have, and now we have quite a bit, <laughs> thanks to thanks to y'all. As you probably are already aware, part of the reason that our mission is in place is because as uh, clarinetists, Michelle and I are both clarinetists, we started as a, as a clarinet organization, uh, the National Tree of Tanzania is the Mpingo, it is the clarinet tree, uh, Granadilla, African Blackwood, and that's why uh, we have chosen Tanzania to do the work that we do. But as a US-based 501c3 nonprofit uh, and a international NGO in Tanzania, we really do rely on uh, donations, both from organizations like yourself, um, but from individuals as well. We're looking forward to going back. We've been on hiatus, a, a COVID hiatus, extended COVID hiatus. Uh, but before leaving, um, due to COVID, we had over 100 students in the program. Uh, we're running at least two sites. Um, and so we know that we have a lot of building to do as we head back in, but we're looking forward to utilizing the great gifts that y'all have given us here. That's that's all really encouraging to hear. Uh, you know, one of the things that Schmidt Music is really committed to and something that we talk about a lot in the company is that we're really committed to making music makers. And so, you know, the opportunity to be able to contribute and help make that happen abroad and to give, uh, you know, good working instruments to, to students and to communities that could use it and benefit from it and would appreciate it and value it is is great. I mean, isn't that something that we would all, we, we want to contribute to something meaningful, you know, so, so that's really great to hear. We're also very thankful to you for everything that you're doing. We're thankful that we were able to give. I love the ownership that you're able to give those communities to the resources that they have, the appreciation that they can have for those things and the pride that they will take in caring for those things and letting that propagate and proliferate through their communities and, and providing musical instruction and structure to them as as people both for the kids and the adults I know Michelle and I we talked a little bit about um, the adult organizations that that you guys even help there and provide um, instruments for them um, so it's it's really just wonderful to see um, the instruments that we had that were wonderful they were good instruments but we just couldn't find a home for them out here so knowing that they're going to go to communities that were so deserving um, was 
really great. And to see the, the opportunities that you'll provide to performers to really go out and it just broadens their view of the, the really the impact that music can have and the impact that they can have as an artist in ways that they really didn't see before. I love the way that you're able to bring performers through and repair technicians through to work on those instruments and to work with those students and to broaden their own understanding of their own musicianship. It does so much for us as a performance community. Um, so it's, you know, when it, the opportunity came up for us to provide something, it, it was just an easy decision for all of us to make. Well, thank you. And, you know, you said something there um, that, that really is incredibly helpful, and that's the good working instruments. <laughs> oftentimes, <laughs> oftentimes the instruments we receive, you know, they, they have been much loved 20 years ago <laughs> or much loved 15 years ago. Um, but to get a set of instruments that we know are, is going to hit the ground running more or less, and that we're not going to be doing um, those on-site immediate repairs as we're handing instruments to students, it, it just makes the world of difference. And the idea of the students being able to have something that has um, such high quality, you know, it, sometimes when we would go to country, they look at our, our clarinets, you know, sort of professional level, uh, graduate level clarinets, and they say, well, why, why is it mine like this? I say, oh, yours is good though. <laughs> so to give them something that really is um, an outstanding instrument um, will go a long way for sure. We had um, quite a few flutes as part of this donation. Um, we've been looking for homes for them for a while and just trying to figure out what the next step is with those because they're great playing instruments. Um, so I think when Melissa brought this opportunity to the team, it was just a no brainer right away. Let's, let's help people have a rewarding musical experience by having, um, a better quality than what they've maybe had in the past. So it was just really exciting to have somewhere to find a home because we want those instruments to have the long life that they deserve and the students deserve that opportunity as well. You know, uh, Melissa men mentioned earlier, the importance of, uh, uh, giving uh, students an opportunity to grow and learn and be successful in uh, throughout their lives, uh, however long that is. And we actually have a rare opportunity in uh, the in the Kilimanjaro region where there is a university that teaches music. It's uh, Makumira Tumaini University. It's about an hour west of where we do our work, and we have started sending students from our program to that university. In fact, we just had our very first graduate, a student who started in our program, Fraterine. He started in 2011 or 12. Gosh, it's been about 10 years. And he just graduated from Tumaini Makumira uh, with a bachelor's degree in music. And he was able to do that, not just because of the music education that we provided, but because of the instruments. So these instruments may make it all the way through to a professional performing career. Oh, that's so good to hear. Oh my gosh. That's great. Oh, yeah, we're doing such good work. It's really, it's something that the performance community really needs to see. Mm -hmm. Well, we're, we're pretty proud of Fraterin. He's had um, a, a, a really interesting journey and we're just so glad that he's found his way over to the university and, you know, yeah. hopefully he'll be teaching with us this summer. So we're excited about that. Oh, that's a great, yeah, because you guys, the, in a lot of the work that you do, you're able to, um, the students that you work with, they end up uh, giving back to those communities and giving back to the organization, and they really become teachers, so it's really the community um, teaching themselves, the older ones mentoring the younger ones, even very early out the gate, I think we've talked yes. about before. That's really special. That's really we, wonderful. We do everything we can to promote some peer-to-peer -peer, um, student teaching, <laughs> especially knowing uh, that that has so much value uh, for them when some of us leave. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It makes it much more self-sustaining. Um, <laughs> and it just, it, it gives that program much more life because they're really taking it on themselves and they're making it their own at, their, at that point. They are. And, you know, the heart of success of this program really comes from uh, the volunteers coming everywhere every year from everywhere around the world to teach these not only teach the teachers you know our youngest students are becoming teachers now but to help teach the youngest ones um, because when we leave 
you know, there, um, there aren't any teachers other than the ones that have come up from 2010 to continue getting to the next level as players and performers. So, um, you know, we have, we, every year we have a need for volunteers and perhaps this might be an opportunity one of you all might be interested in doing we would absolutely love to host you uh, in Tanzania should you like to take an adventure teach maybe go on safari <laughs> file down <laughs> yes, our, um, our our newest uh, volunteer flyer is up and available at DarajaMusicInitiative.org. There's a, a very strong giving community out here in Minneapolis, and I think that that's definitely a gospel that we can preach on behalf of you guys with the community out here. That's really wonderful. Great. It was wonderful to chat with you guys. I hope we can do it again another time um, and to just hear about the other incredible work that you guys are doing and how you continue to grow. It's really encouraging just to meet good people who are doing good things, truly. Well, thank you so much again for the donation and, and for taking the time to chat. We'll be sure to get some, some photos and, and some videos over uh, of those instruments in action so you have a, a sense of what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs>